Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my PowerPoint, which covers the media issues surrounding catfishing. So let's go ahead and get started with the presentation. Okay, so the first slide is why catfishing? So why catfishing, you may ask? The reason I chose this topic is because I feel that it is interesting due to the amount of profiles I have came across on a social networking site, such as Facebook or Instagram where many profiles of the same person would pop up, but it would be different names with different personalities and different information. I think many people are affected by this because it happens to so many people in society, especially with the developments of social networking sites. Um, if you think about it, catfishers are all around us and you may not even know. So many people pretend to be someone totally different online, versus who they are actually in person. With that being said, I like to get into the history and background of the term catfishing. So I think the term catfish is funny because I always wondered where they got the name from. It was said to have gotten its name from the film named Catfish, which was released in 2010 starring a guy named Neve where his brother and his friend decided to document Neve's love life online. Um, it, gained, it, it eventually gained its name by a person relating a story of how there are people in everyone's lives who keep each other active, always on their toes and always thinking, suggesting that people should always be alert while socializing through the internet. Therefore, the term is known to where people who lure other people online into a relationship by means of a fictional persona or pretending to be someone that you are not. Um, the film eventually led into a MTV hit series called Catfish, the TV show. So MTV Catfish, the TV show, the show is hosted by two men named Neve and Max, which Neve is the one that starred in the film Catfish. Um, the show premiered in November of 2012, consisting of currently six seasons and a total of 94 episodes. The show is still on TV to this day. Neve and Max help people who are emotionally entangled with someone they have never met in real life. Each episode is an investigation into whether or not the other participant in the relationship is legitimate or if they are, in fact, a catfish. Some couples have been communicating for a few months and others for even years. In each episode, the host help a different individual with a different story, traveling to wherever they live and using background checks and research to uncover the truth about the person. Neve and Max, Max contact the other person to arrange a first ever meeting between the two virtual lovers, then documents how both the people are impacted. But with so many people in the world having these same problems, we should know how to watch out for these potential catfishers for ourselves. So next, slide, it, next slide is signs of a catfish. Um, here are some signs of a catfish. If they seem too good to be true, they probably are. People who are catfishers usually make up fake lives so they can be, um, I guess, be uh, outgoing and have a great personality as they would want to be. Some catfish profiles will often say that they are models, singers, or actors. It's difficult for you to verify information, so be careful if they live an extreme lifestyle. Catfishers usually have broad profile interests so that they can appeal to as many people as possible. So if someone doesn't seem to have an opinion or their interests are very broad, be, be aware of this. Um, they may be out to scam someone. If someone seems to be falling for you or pushing the relationship forward without having talked to you after just a little amount of time, they probably are trying to catfish you online. If someone seems to be falling for you and they write and say all these loving things about you after a very short amount of time of knowing that person, um, they could also be a catfish. Um, another thing is that if they keep coming up with excuses to prevent them from using a phone or from you seeing them, seeing them in person, there's probably something funny going on. 
The biggest one of them all to me is that if someone asks for money after only knowing you for a short amount of time and you've never met them in person, um, you shouldn't want to give them money and you could have been a target the whole entire time. Um, so now let's go into slide six, which is the impacts of catfishing. So some of the impacts of catfishing and why this is an issue in the media economy and society is because they are hard to capture. In many cases, people who catfish aren't dealt with by any legal action. The person who is a victim to the catfishing often blames themselves for putting themselves in that situation. Um, people who tend to catfish others usually have low self-esteem issues and think they can only be themselves through the eyes of someone else's pictures. They usually intend no harm, but we can never be sure. There are also been cases of bullying to where people will use the fake account to say mean things to others without having to reveal their true identity. Um, as you can see to the right, I have added a chart with statistics about dating and catfishing. The study shows that one out of every 10 dating profiles are fake. 54% believe that others have used false information and 28% have felt uncomfortable or harassed by another online dater. How to avoid being catfish. Um, I decided to look and find some options of how people can avoid being catfish. Um, I would say don't reveal too much personal information unless you know for sure that the person is real and who you are talking to. Um, feel free to run background checks, run their pictures, Talk to other people that they are friends with to get a better understanding of who you are really talking to. The biggest one of them all is to Skype or FaceTime that person um, to ensure that the person you are talking to is actually who they say they are. So go ahead and push for the webcam conversations. You want to see their face. If they keep saying no that they can't Skype or FaceTime, it's probably a reason why they keep saying no. So in conclusion to this PowerPoint, um, we want to stay safe. Don't get all worked up into the internet. The internet can be a very helpful source, but it also can be very dangerous. So we don't wanna say, don't go online to seek love or to seek relationships and friends because that's basically like we have online for this reason. Um, but you just want to be smart and to say, to in today's society especially with everything we do being so media related. Um, we tend to put our whole lives on, you know, Facebook and social media for everyone to see, but some things you should just keep to yourself. So I would just say, know the signs and ways to avoid this media issue because it is very big and it can get bigger as we go on through technology. And I want to say thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.